After being dragged online for most of 2020 and having her talk show under investigation, Ellen DeGeneres has returned to her set for another season and opened with an apology monologue. Words that seemed to come from a genuine place weren't accepted kindly by everyone, and we are going to talk about it today on Beyond the Screen. I'm your host for this one, Joss Bedard. Make sure you guys subscribe, ring the bell to hang out with us every day, and if you want to see more of what we do, you can click the playlist right up here or find us on social media. Our links are down below. Ellen opens up every one of her shows with a monologue, but this one was a little bit different. This time around, she had to address some serious claims about mistreatment in her workplace and not being as kind as she appears to be on TV. She did address the issues and issued an apology, but she also added in a few jokes which some people were not thrilled about. Before becoming a talk show host, Ellen was a comedian for years, so it's not totally surprising that she would try to use comedy to make light of a very very dark situation. But she is now facing new criticism from former employees after one of them came forward and said that she turned their trauma into a joke. They, who remains anonymous, said, Not only did Ellen turn my trauma, turn our traumas into a joke, she somehow managed to make this about her. They are referring to some of the other comments Ellen made about how she had a horrible summer with being attacked online and having her show on the brisk of getting cancelled. Ellen did address the allegations and also admitted that she was unaware of some things that were going on in her workplace, but because she owns the show, she did take responsibility for it. She also did apologize to anyone who she has hurt in the process and said that she and her team have been making positive changes in the workplace and they want to start this season off as a new chapter. One of her current employees though stirred the pot a little bit after saying that they were happy Ellen addressed the controversy and didn't act like nothing happened, but that it felt like it was an insincere PR move to win back viewers. If you did not catch this monologue, in between the jokes, Ellen did get serious and said, I know that I am in a position of privilege and power and I realize that with that comes responsibility and I take responsibility for what happens at my show. She also addressed the claims of people saying she isn't as kind as she appears to be on TV. Cause this was one of the ones that was like everywhere on the internet. People are like, oh my God, you didn't like this waitress's nails and she got fired. Like all this crazy stuff. To these allegations, she explained why she started her show's motto, Be Kind to One Another, and the effect it has had on her reputation and image. She explained saying, a quote, straight from the monologue, I started saying be kind to one another after a young man named Tyler Clementi took his own life after being bullied for being gay. I thought the world needed more kindness and it was a reminder that we all needed that. I think we need it more than ever right now. Being known as the be kind lady is a tricky position to be in. The truth is I am that person that you see on TV. I am also a lot of other things. Sometimes I get sad, I get mad, I get anxious, I get frustrated, I get in patience. And I am working on all of that. I am a work in progress. A lot of her words did seem sincere, but it will depend on how you personally interpret it. Many mixed emotions about her apology surfaced online. Some Twitter users calling her a phony and saying that she is a terrific actress. Some people were actually very angered that she was allowed to even have her show back. One user tweeted, not sure how this was pulled off, must have made a deal. I'm sickened. But with a lot of negative comments, there are some good ones too. Some fans agreed that we are all a work in progress and that celebrities are held up to an impossible standard and we often forget that they are human and also make mistakes too. Either way, there is a massive debate based on people's personal opinions on this subject. All we do know is that her show is returning and continuing and they are hoping to make it a more positive workplace and environment this time around. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. While you guys are typing up your thoughts and feelings in those comments, I'm going to do some comment shout outs from some of my other videos. Dancing Noodles 2 says, quick question, how do you make these lists? If you don't want to answer this, how do you feel about Cardi B and Offset's divorce? <laughs> um, they're divorced, none of my business. If you did cheat, kudos girl, leave him. I don't know. How we make these lists, we have to research, we have to script our work, we have to cite our work. Um, it's a few hours for every video, believe it or not. Vic Mira says, did Ellen pay you to make this video? No, but I wish she did. Jason Cope says, I never watched Tiger King, but the woman Carol Baskin sounds like the centuries Courtney Love. 
That's a good one, but you really should watch Tiger King. I uh, Listen, I started watching that first episode and I stopped because I was like, no way am I watching it. And then I went back and watched it and I'm, I regret not giving it a shot the first time. Sophia Pereira says, Carol Baskin is worse than everyone. Also, have you seen her Dancing with the Stars duet? I need bleach for my eyes. I did, I actually reacted to her Dancing with the Stars uh, video on my personal channel. It is brutal. The fact that they made it all tiger themed and had her dancing partner in a cage of tiger. Guys, I can't even believe this is real. All right guys, that is all I got. I'm getting out of here. Make sure you subscribe, ring the bell, come say hi on social media, do all the things. I was your host Joss, I will see you next time.